Hey everyone, Lauren Gachega here from Viral Growth Media and I want to officially welcome you to today's presentation. Now, time is of the essence and I have a ton of incredible information to share with you today. So I'm just going to dive right in. Have you been trying to hit that dream six figure mark in your business? But no matter what you do, it feels like you're just getting further and further away from your goal. Well, guess what? You're not alone. The road to the first six figures is always the hardest. You see, hitting the six figure mark is the goal for most business owners. And if owning a six figure business is a goal of yours as well, then pay really close attention to this presentation because I'm going to let you in on a secret today. A little known secret that's going to change the course of your business forever. By using this proven method that has generated over $85 million and counting for my clients. We're here today to talk about one thing, how you can hit your first six figure year using our proven viral sales method without getting burnt out. I'm going to show you how you can easily find 25 plus ideal clients every week without grinding for 12 hours every day. How to make consistent, reliable income from your email list even if you've never written a newsletter. And create an audience that's just waiting to give you their money on your next launch. But before we dive into that, I want to quickly show you what some of my students and clients have had to say, just so you know, you're not wasting your time. Or I have to say, you beat out every expectation I had. I never thought we would be able to consistently hit $200,000 months. I should have listened to you when you first told me to increase our ad spend. Thank you for all your hard work and for helping us get here. That's from my boy Joshua. Your BRG strategy is killer. We did 682,000 in sales in 14 days. Your ad strategies work like crazy and people need to learn from you. Thank you so much, Laura, I love you. That's from Blake. We generated over 18,000 leads that have so far turned into 272,000 of sales in only seven days. My mind is blown with what you've taught me. I had no idea this was even possible. Thank you for helping me overcome my mental block with Facebook ads. That's from Phil. Before you, I had no idea how much money I was leaving on the table with my audience. Like you always say, you don't know what you don't know. I'm so thankful for seeing your Facebook ad about the BRG strategy. I went from $20,000 months to $100,000 months in 52 days from Patricia. So what makes this different, right? What makes today's training different is that, that I'm not going to tell you all the same generic advice those gurus or entrepreneurs are telling you, promising to make you rich insanely fast with little to no effort or to hustle or grind your face off for 12 to 14 hours a day. Instead, I'm going to share with you the four pillars that we have used at Viral Growth Media that have helped coaches, consultants, and thought leaders generate over $85 million and counting. A system that can help you hit your first six-figure year without getting burnt out just like it did for me and hundreds of my students. Before I share these four pillars with you, I'm sure you're wondering, who am I to even be telling you about this? Why should you even be listening to me about hitting six figures? Well, let me share my story with you and tell you exactly what brought me here today. You see, before I became one of America's top five growth hackers, I got a job selling for Nissan only because my uncles were big dogs in the industry. But there was one problem. I didn't know how to sell. I knew I had to become an excellent salesperson if I wanted to find any success in this world. Fortunately, the dealership that I was at had sales training by Grant Cardone and the Cardone Auto Group. That combined with a ton of work on my end turned me into a great salesperson. But here's the thing, I didn't love being in the car business. I'd been involved with startups since I was a junior in high school 
and I knew that's where my heart was. So after six months of sales experience, I wanted to use that skill to start my own consulting business. I thought that I could figure it all out by myself and I couldn't have been more wrong. It wasn't easy. When I first started out as a consultant, I didn't seek out a mentor or a coach. I already had some experience in digital marketing and in sales. So I thought, how hard can it be? Well, the cutthroat world of online marketing showed me just how wrong I was to underestimate it. Within a couple of months, I'd wasted a ton of time and money and had nothing to show for it. It was only when I started investing in coaching that I found clients who were willing to pay me what I deserve. Today, my team and I spend over $100,000 per year on courses, coaching, and masterminds to perfect our strategies. And it truly has made all the difference. We no longer have to rely on guesswork to figure out what works. Instead, we use strategies that have been proven to work for hundreds of people before. Since then, I've managed millions of dollars in digital marketing ad spend for big companies and high profile entrepreneurs, including helping an online education client generate $78,000 within 60 days selling a high ticket item on Facebook, helping another online brand go from barely breaking even to generating $80,000 and getting a 300% return on their ads and helping a consulting company, consulting all stars scale to seven figures using our proven systems. After hitting several huge home runs during the past 12 months, I've decided to move my focus. I want to help more entrepreneurs, coaches, and consultants like you hit their first six figure year in your business by using my proven viral sales method in your business. This is the exact same system that we have used at Viral Growth Media to help coaches, consultants, and thought leaders generate $85 million and counting. This method is built to turn your focus only to things that truly move the needle. And it will help you laser focus on activities that take your business to the next level without wasting time and money trying to figure it all out by yourself. Now you're probably thinking, how? Well, by giving you exactly what you need to do to make money from your audience step by step. Now, over the last seven years, I've done a ton of things right, but I've also done a whole bunch of things wrong. It's my goal for you guys. I don't want you to do any of the wrong things. I want you guys to go straight to the results. I don't want you to be successful in a few years. I want you to be successful as soon as possible. Everything I know, I discovered it all the hard way. I had to waste a ton of time and money and had nothing to show for it. I also applied everything I learned into my own and my clients' businesses. And believe me, it took a lot of trial and error until I discovered which strategies really work and which ones were created by marketers to push their BS courses. I don't want you guys to go through that painful journey, but you guys have a chance today to just cheat and get it the easy way. So how many of you guys want the easy way? Who wants the easy way? <laughs> You've got to let me know because I can give you the hard way if you want it. All right, cool. So you guys want the easy way. Let's dive into it. So during this presentation, I'm going to cover the four pillars. This is the point where you need to get out your pen and paper and start taking notes. So pillar number one is where I reveal the real reason why you've been stuck in the six figure hamster wheel. I'm talking about this sneaky little culprit that has made all your hard work meaningless. So pillar two is how to create irresistible offers that sell like crazy. For example, I'm going to show you why it doesn't matter what you sell online and why any niche has the capability to hand you a six figure business. And at the end of this, you'll have the exact formula to create an irresistible offer no matter what your industry is. 
Pillar number three is creating your viral marketing strategies. The whole point of teaching you this is to prevent you from the analysis paralysis trap. That means you don't have to stress and obsess about studying all the different options you have on how to market your offer and forget about taking any action because we give you the exact marketing strategy that we've used to generate $85 million in counting for our clients. And then pillar number four is scaling your business past six figures. Now that you have a solid business that gives you consistent income, the next obvious step is to multiply your business and grow fast. How many of you guys would like to learn that? All right, perfect. So then keep watching because that's what we're going to cover today. And I don't want to waste any time. So let's jump right into pillar one. So pillar one, building your money mindset. Let me ask you a question. Is your mindset sabotaging your business? So here's the thing. If you've been stuck in the six figure hamster wheel forever, and if you have a product that you know your audience will love, but no matter what you do, you don't seem to be making any real progress and you can't seem to be making any money off of it, then chances are it probably has nothing to do with your offer or your marketing strategy. Your problems lie in your mindset, not your business. The biggest reason coaches and consultants get stuck in a hamster wheel is because their own mindset is sabotaging them. That's right. I'm talking about things like your beliefs around money, your focus on vanity metrics over actual money making metrics, your tendencies to be busy instead of focusing on productivity, your need to get everything perfect instead of getting 80 to 90% good, having a scarcity mindset instead of an abundance mindset, and having the mentality of I need to grind my face off to have a successful business, these are the things that truly determine your success. That's why before we even talk about your offer or your marketing, we have to make sure you have the right money mindset because a skill set without the right mindset results in upset. So now do you have a better money mindset? Well, step one is to stop focusing on vanity metrics. Let me explain. Most business owners are focusing on things that don't matter. They focus on vanity metrics instead of focusing on the actual money making metrics. Vanity metrics are great for making you feel awesome. Unfortunately, they don't have any real value. Why? Because they're easily manipulated and they don't have a direct correlation to the success in your business. In fact, they can be extremely dangerous because they make you believe that your marketing is getting results. Even when they don't tell you anything about your business growth. Vanity metrics could steer you in the completely wrong way. And here's the big part I don't want you to miss. Instead of focusing on total marketing spent, you should focus on your marketing campaign's ROI. Instead of focusing on your social media likes or follows, you should focus on your social media engagement rate. Instead of focusing on your page views, you should focus on your page conversion rate. Instead of focusing on your monthly customer revenue, you should focus on your lifetime customer value. Here are three types of vanity metrics to avoid. A huge spike in website traffic. More website visits means you did something amazing for your marketing, right? Not always. More visits to your website is usually a good thing, but it's hard to determine what actually made the spike happen and hard to repeat it. A lot of times you can't know what caused that spike. Was it something you did? Something someone else did? A share by an influencer? A piece of content or story from years ago that resurfaced? You see how a vanity metric like this can lead you astray? Plus, it doesn't really matter how many visitors come to your site. What matters is how many convert into customers. Visitors don't necessarily make your business any money. Social media impressions and audience size. Social media followers can be bought by a brand with a 
pay little extra bucks, okay? They don't mean much. And while it's true that having a large following can suggest that your brand is posting valuable and entertaining content, but the intentions of your followers can also vary. Are your competitors taking a look? Or are some followers looking for jobs? Not every follower is a prospective customer. Even less valuable to your business is your number of impressions. It's amazing if a lot of people see your content, but it doesn't really mean anything. Instead, measure content shares and the number of customer conversions generated by social media. Number of new leads. You know, like sharp increases in website traffic, lead volume can look far better than it is due to an increase in ad spend. You should be focused on finding customers, not leads. Instead of stuffing low quality leads into your funnel, focus on the number of qualified leads you're delivering. You want your marketing efforts to attract prospects who actually have a need for your products or services. If you have a ton of leads, but not a lot of sales, it's time to reevaluate how you're advertising your products or solutions. You see what I mean? That's why it's important that your marketing strategy focuses on metrics that really matter, not vanity metrics. Make sure the metrics you focus on gives you real insight on how your marketing efforts move your business forward and help you measure campaign success. Don't focus on trendy metrics just because they're popular. Remember, track metrics that tell you things you actually need to know about your business and marketing. They help you make smart decisions that lead to better ROI and aren't a meaningless distraction from optimizing your business for success. Step number two is to shatter your limiting beliefs into splinters. If you've ever experienced limiting beliefs, you're normal. As entrepreneurs, there are a gazillion of things going through your head. But the reality is, limiting beliefs are always going to hold you back unless you see them for what they are. Address them and then blast through them. What I'm about to share with you now might be a little bit triggering, okay? You might get triggered a lot. But if you want your business to grow, you've got to take an honest look at yourself. Let's talk about the top three limiting beliefs and how to easily overcome them. One common belief goes something like this. I don't have a blank. I don't have the skill. I don't have the money. I don't have the team. I don't have the so on and so forth. The reality is you'll never have everything you need, but you'll always have enough. The I don't haves will always be there. So your job is to focus on what you do have and execute on that. A great example is Gilligan Zoe Siegel, author of an incredibly successful book, Getting There, A Book of Mentors. Getting There tells the story of the world's top 30 entrepreneurs with all of their successes, failures, and lessons they've learned. How was Gillian able to secure interviews with all of these admirable and extremely busy people? Was she already connected to these people? No. Is she a well-known celebrity? No. She just made it happen. She knew what she didn't have, which was a mentor. She knew what she didn't want, which was to continue the path that she was on as a lawyer. And she knew what she did have, which was determination and grit. So she went all in and made the connections happen. She did everything in her power to find her way past the gatekeepers from getting interviews with these people simply by being strategic and persistent. And she went on to publish an amazing book that I highly recommend for everyone. And that leads us to limiting belief number two, which is I'm not good at blank. I'm not good at business. I'm not good at money. I'm not good on camera. The excuses are endless when you're not good at something. Option one is not doing it. If it absolutely must be done, find someone else who can do it and focus on what you're good at. If you can't afford help, you need to do whatever it takes yourself. 
then your only option is to learn how. And there's no better example of this than Warren Buffett. Also a subject in getting there, by the way. Warren is probably the greatest investor of all time. He will forever be remembered as an icon in the business world. But very few people know that Warren once had a severe disadvantage that almost prevented him from finding success. He used to be terribly afraid of public speaking. He would get so nervous that he could hardly say his own name. Warren dreamed of being accepted to Harvard to make his father proud. When it came time for his admissions interview, he rode a train for more than 10 hours only to be rejected and sent home immediately upon arrival. With his goal crushed, he knew he needed to make a change. So he enrolled for a Dale Carnegie public speaking course and paid with cash so he'd have to attend. He faced his fear eyeball to eyeball and eventually became a badass public speaker who is well known for his thoughtful interviews and public addresses to his shareholders. He kudos that public speaking course for giving him the courage to propose to his wife, which he embraced as the single most important decision of his life. Finally, the third limiting belief is the COVID-19 pandemic and the market crash has frozen the market. Yes, I get it. COVID-19 has punched everybody in the mouth and is throwing everybody for a loop. But that doesn't mean the market is frozen everywhere. Have you watched Tesla stock or the NASDAQ? There's a lot of movement. And as an early stage founder, you're extremely zippy, which means you can outrun your competition and adapt to new market needs faster than a competitive necessity. What you think is your weakness is in fact your strength. So step three, focus on being productive instead of working hard and staying busy all day long. Do you know someone who works very hard and doesn't make a lot of money? If working hard is the path to becoming successful, why isn't my nice garbage man a millionaire? You must realize that a good work ethic alone won't get you to the bank. We're taught that the only way to make real money is by working hard, struggling, and enduring hardship after hardship. Only at that point do you become honored in the world's eyes. Hence, that's where the term hard-earned money came from. It's like you've considered more worthy if you make the money in a difficult fashion. Why would you buy into that bullshit? When you can go to the bank and make a deposit, does the clerk ask you, sir or ma'am, how hard did you have to work to get this money? Or, I'm sorry, we can't accept this deposit because you made this money without breaking a sweat. They just want to know how much. They don't give a shit how hard you worked for it. Or let's say it's your birthday and you go buy yourself a car. The car salesperson doesn't care if that money came too easy. When I buy my girlfriend Gucci, I can assure you she has absolutely no idea where the money came from and she couldn't care less. <laughs> let's take it a step further. I'll describe two men. Let's say both of them make good money. Whom do you think would have more potential for being a great husband and a great father? Someone who works 80 or 90 hours a week, who's rarely home and even when he is home is exhausted, unhealthy, and still preoccupied with work? Or a man who works 30 to 40 hours a week, perhaps maybe works from home, controls his schedule, who has the time and is able to prioritize his important relationships, takes care of his health, and isn't constantly preoccupied and worried about work? I think the answer is obvious. Now this isn't to say that a hardworking man can't be a great husband and father. In fact, considering the circumstances, any man who pulls this off should be highly respected. And this isn't to say that a man who has more free time will automatically be a great husband or father. He could be a total dickhead. But looking at the scenario I just mentioned, doesn't it seem that the man who makes easy money has stacked the odds in his favor? That he has the potential of becoming a great husband and father? Here's the bottom line. 
You don't get some kind of bonus if you work harder than someone else for the same amount of money. I'm not saying you don't work hard. I'm not saying don't work hard. What I'm saying is you have to work hard on the right things if you ever wanna make your six or multi six figures. I'm trying to get you to think differently about the concept of money. Is this making sense to you? Making money doesn't have to be a struggle. Don't just work hard. Work hard at working smart. And here's the big part I don't want you to miss. To me, there are only two kinds of activities in business. Profit producing activities and non-profit producing activities. Non-profit producing activities include talking to your friends, <laughs> right? Checking emails, answering your phone, surfing the internet, organizing your office, and bookkeeping, etc. These are activities that don't put cash in your pocket. Profit producing activities include creating new products, marketing your products, improving your marketing process, managing money making projects, raising capital, finding new ways to acquire customers, setting up joint venture deals, setting up the strategic partnerships, creating systems, and hiring good people to run your business. These are activities that put cash in your pocket. Out of all the tasks you have to do, don't spend a lot of time doing the ones that don't make you money. Your number one job each and every day is to do everything you can to drive more revenue and profit into your business. All right, so that's secret number one. The money mindset secrets to attract massive success as a thought leader. Let's move into secret number two and talk about just that. Pillar number two, how you can create an irresistible offer that sells like crazy. It's true that it doesn't matter what you sell online. Any niche has the capability to hand you a six figure business. What matters is how you package your offer. You can apply every single proven marketing strategy on the planet, but if your offer is broken, your offer won't make it to see the light of day and you're never going to make any money. You see, here's the thing. There are two types of coaches, creators, or consultants. One type believes that in order to have a successful business, they need to grind their face off for 12 to 14 hours every day. The other type, they're the savvy ones, the smarts, the people who know how to only focus on the needle movers. These people only focus on things that are gonna move them closer to their goals and completely ignoring the other thousand things that demand their attention without giving them anything in return. They do this by laser focusing on the activities that skyrocket their business to the next level. And one of them is hammering hard their efforts to create an irresistible offer. Because here's the thing, it doesn't matter how great your marketing strategy is if your offer sucks. Yes, let that sink in. It doesn't matter how great your marketing strategy is if your offer sucks. Understood? Okay, enough background stuff. Let's be more precise. You see, product is something you sell. A thing, a service, a commodity. Like shampoo at a store where you shop around to look for the cheapest price, right? Now, the irresistible offer is entirely different. The irresistible offer is product plus high focused value. And the high focused value is anything that makes the purchase or justification of the purchase easier. As a thought leader who wants to take their business to the next level, you don't sell products. You always want to make offers. Irresistible offers is an offer that has all the pieces moving towards a singular focus goal or outcome. For example, if you're selling muscle building supplements for men, you can throw in a step-by-step -step Arnold workout plan and add a one-on-one -on -one coaching call every week for the next six months to hold them accountable. The focus goal is muscle. And the highly focused value to the right audience, you see, you could just sell a product, but then you'd be selling based on price and quality. That's why an offer is so crucial because it allows you to charge the most 
sell the most and stand out from your competition. Let me give you another example on why how you package your offers matter. Let's say you're selling to housewives. You could sell them a bottle of diet pills for an upfront fee of $47. Or you could offer them a free sample kit to give them a chance to try it out for just $15. Add a $15 coupon towards future purchases, throw in a healthy cookbook recipe to help them with their meal plans with a money back guarantee if they're not satisfied. This way, your prospects are super impressed with the value they're getting. The focus goal here is weight loss and the highly focused value to the right audience that's an example of how you can change the packaging of your offer to make it irresistible to your prospects and turn them into loyal fans. So make sure to nail this part and create your irresistible offer. Now that you know how to create an irresistible offer, let's move on to pillar number three. Pillar number three, your viral marketing strategy. Now that you've got your mindset right and you've created an irresistible offer for your audience, let's talk about how you're going to market it to your prospects. This is where things get challenging for most new entrepreneurs. There's just so many ways to market your offer that is easy to get overwhelmed. Most entrepreneurs fall into paralysis analysis at this stage. That means they get obsessed with studying all the different options they have and forget about taking action. Maybe you can relate. You see, the first step to nailing your marketing strategy is to define your ideal audience. Most people have a basic idea of who they want to sell to. For example, if you're selling a fitness product for men, you probably know that your audience is men 25 to 55 who want to lose weight. But here's the thing. That's not specific enough. There are at least five to seven different types of people under that bracket. That's why it's very crucial to break down your ideal audience into buckets and figure out the right marketing strategy to target each of those buckets. Because if you're talking to everyone, you're actually talking to no one. And if you have a mental block in narrowing down your messaging, it means you have a scarcity mindset. And that's why I told you earlier in pillar one, how important having the right mindset is to your success. The second step to nailing your marketing strategy is to build your origin story. Because here's the thing, facts tell, stories sell. And stories draw people in without them being aware of it. When you tell a good story, people don't even know that they're being sold. Let me give you a couple of examples. Pay close attention to these stories. The naked girls all laughed behind the little pudgy guy's back until he got into a knife fight with three enormous badass bikers. High school student loses almost 600 pounds and now devotes his life to helping others get skinny. Discover how I helped a crippled wife shed 23 pounds of unwanted fat and completely flatten her belly. Notice how it bypasses the conscious walls in your head and immediately got you pulled into the story. The problem is every good marketer knows that stories are the number one way to sell, but most brands never take the time to figure out what their story is. This is what will separate you from all the other conventional brands out there. That's why it's important for you to figure out exactly how you want your audience to think about your brand. The third step to nailing your marketing strategy is to have organic marketing that hands you qualified leads. Because look, it's not easy to pitch people organically. Now more than ever, people have a highly sensitive sales radar that starts ringing an alarm the second they think they're being pitched to. That's why you need a proven strategy that allows you to have conversations that make your prospect want your product without sounding salesy. And here's the best part. Once you've optimized the process to work for your business, you can automate it by outsourcing it out to someone else like we have. So you never have to spend time chatting people up to find leads. And here's the big part I don't want you to miss. 
you're also going to need to build the most important asset in your business, your email list. Because every person that signs up to your email list probably did that because they want to pay you money for your product. Now that you know how to create your viral marketing strategy, let's move on to pillar four. Pillar four, scaling your business past six figures. Now, let's say you've already hit the dream six figure mark which you will soon enough once you put this method into action, where do you go from here? Because after hitting their six figure mark, most business owners usually stagnate. Their revenues stagnate. Their profits stagnate. They kind of hit a rut and no matter what they do, they can't get revenues to grow any further and they can't break through that plateau. The reason that happens is because the same strategies that got them to six figures aren't going to keep working and getting them further. This saying perfectly describes this. What got you here won't get you there. That's why you need the right strategies to scale to multiple six figures, seven figures and beyond after you hit the six figure mark. And in order to do that, you need to have the right systems set up and in place which means you'll need to have an automated way of doing this because having a system in place is mandatory to scaling past the six figure mark. You'll need to design an architecture of the organization. For example, you need to have a solid marketing system, a solid sales system, a solid hiring system, a solid payroll system, etc. right? So, well, you know what? That's the best part about the viral sales method. Everything is designed to be scalable. That means you can continue multiplying your income without worrying about your systems breaking down. Here, we focus on exactly what you need to do to scale your business beyond the six figure mark, including making your very first hires and hitting multiple six figures by scaling your ads. This is something that most online businesses only dream of. So to kind of recap what we've covered so far, first, I've showed you pillar number one, how to build your money mindset. Pillar number two was how to create irresistible offers that sell like crazy. Pillar number three, I showed you how to design your viral marketing strategy. And pillar number four, I showed you how to scale your business past six figures. That was pretty cool, right? So I hope you enjoyed today's training and we are super pumped to hop on a strategy call with you and see if there's a win-win situation. Of course, you already know that we're a performance-based marketing company and we don't win unless you do. So I'm super pumped to leave you with the testimonials to check out below. My problem before I started working with Laura and Viral Growth Media was that I didn't have a ton of confidence and I wasn't really sure how to go from point A to point B. Since working with them, that's been completely alle alleviated. Uh, I invested into Laura's experience and, there, and now we'll I didn't see have you to go on through the those strategy. That's really the biggest result that I've gotten from the uh, from the program itself is I've been able to, two clients um, that have you know paid me much more than I initially invested into Laura's program. Um, so just, just realize it's an investment into your business and yourself and that you're gonna be able to make money from the knowledge that you gain from Laura and her team. The only thing that really kept me from buying the coaching program sooner was uh, limiting beliefs in, in you know, just thinking that I could learn this for cheaper or that I could, um, you know, that it wasn't going to uh, yield the benefits right away, that I wasn't in the right position to take advantage of this knowledge and all that was, it was And so um, once I came to terms with that and I made the investment and I, um, you know, got out of my own way. Um, you know, it's been it's been a clear path to success since then. So very happy that I did that. I'd say what I liked most about working with Laura was just how um, enjoyable she is to be around. Uh, the conversations with her, you know, they're not only uh, leveling you up in life because of her experience and her knowledge and the vast success that she's had, but they're also, uh, they're funny, they're enjoyable, they're kind, you know, like she's just a very good person. So you never felt like, like I always felt important when I was working with her. Um, I always felt like, you know, she was there to make sure that I was uh, was achieving the best results that I could. And uh, that just makes you feel good. You never feel like you're borrowing someone else's time or that you're paying for someone else's time. Albeit you, you know, I did pay for her time because it's worth something. Um, 
you know, I felt like she was working with me more because she wanted to than because she was paid to. And so, um, you know, kudos to her on that. I would recommend this, uh, this program to other business owners um, because it has worked wonders for me. Uh, not only has it uh, leveled up my skill set when it comes to Facebook ads, it's also increased my confidence to where now um, sales aren't an issue for me. The other benefits that I've uh, that I've had from working with Laura um, and her team is honestly just like the relationships that I've been able to build. So um, you know, she actually invited me out to Puerto Rico, and so I got to spend some time with her out there, getting around uh, other like-minded individuals for Disrupt, and. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like I did not only get a business consultant, but I also gained a friend. And uh, friends are hard to come by when you're on this entrepreneurial journey. Um, so when you get a good one, you definitely value that. Laura has been my mentor for ads for the longest. And when it comes to getting clients results, we always consult with her and her team. Um, Facebook ads is challenging as we all know, right? And, and uh, Instagram ads, and she's the person that we go to um, and the one that I trust the most for um, very valuable advice when it comes to um, our clients' results. Super huge shout out to Laura and Viral Growth Media from Embark Collective here in Tampa, Florida. This is the tech incubator and startup hub for uh, all things tech in Tampa, owned by Jeff Vinnick, the guy who owns the Tampa Bay Lightning. This place is off the chain, it's amazing. And so was working with Laura. So we had a big problem about a year ago where we were experiencing growth, but it wasn't scalable growth, it wasn't consistent, it wasn't, uh, we didn't have control over it, right? Like it was just kind of like random grow growth, let's just see what happens. And and we um, decided to work with her and Viral Growth Media and the Deep Dive program and thrilled, totally. Um, over 300% growth. If you look at our monthly production um, this month, uh, this year versus this month last year, it's up like 3x. So super amazing results, 100%. And um, that was really the main reason why we wanted to work with her. And in the beginning, I wasn't really sure because like we didn't have the growth and we didn't really know what the results were going to be. So it kind of is like a leap of faith. But um, you know, when you realize that like Laura is, you know, she stays up on social media advertising, social media marketing. She stays up with active campaigns. She stays up, uh, which is the CRM that we use. Um, she stays up with all of the ever-changing updates and everything. I mean, Facebook, Instagram is constantly changing. The regulations, their rules, their algorithms constantly changing. And it's impossible for me as an owner of a company to like stay on top of all of these updates. Like I need to have a professional in that field that knows that. And that's what Laura is and Viral Growth Media does. So super thankful. I mean, I would, uh, you know, hands down recommend her. I do the program again. And um, so thankful for her and the results that she's given the company. So if you're not sure if you're considering using her just just do it just eliminate your excuses and just let the results speak for themselves and do the work put the work in because Laura's going 110 percent so even if you just meet her 50 percent you're definitely going to get her ROI on on your investment into the deep dive program so do it viral growth media awesome Laura amazing very thankful for her and uh man I wish you as a business owner the best of luck